Hi guys, good morning, happy Wednesday. It's time for another video. I have another book for you today. This one might be my favorite one for the whole week. It's a book about a little girl who doesn't believe that anything is impossible, and I love that about her. So our trivia for today is which of these are college degrees you can get after high school? Is it an apprenticeship, a bachelor's degree, an associate's degree, a certificate, a doctorate? Trick question. Every one of those is a college degree. Your challenge that I have for you today is to think about what you want to do when you grow up. Think about a job you might want to have and research a little bit. Figure out what you need to do in order to make that dream come true. So if you're quite sure you what you want to do when you grow up, ask somebody. Look it up on the internet. Figure out what do I have to do after college to make that dream come true. If you're not quite sure what you want to be when you grow up yet, no big deal. Maybe start thinking about some of those things though. So the book we have today is How to Be a T-Rex. You ready? Hi, my name is Sal. One day in class, my teacher asked us, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, because obviously. Here are some amazing facts about T-Rexes. Nose, too far away to cram your fingers in there. Roars, all the time. Teeth, awesome. Body, giant. And here are some facts, sad facts, about Sal's. Teeth, okay, could be pointier. Roars, never. Nose, close enough that you can put your fingers inside, but you get in trouble if you do it, so who cares? Body, tiny, often ignored. So yeah, the choice is pretty clear. T-Rex all the way. But at dinner that night, my brother said, it's impossible for you to be a T-Rex. He thinks he's so smart just because he's older, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never even tried to be a T-Rex. Nobody has. So looks like I'm going to be the first. And that night, I put my mind to it. I concentrated it as hard as I could. So hard that my eyes squished shut and my cheeks puffed up. And guess what I became? A T-Rex. And guess what else? Surprise! Being a T-Rex is amazing! No door can hold you. You can eat whatever you want. And if you don't like someone, you can chase him away with just a roar. Just a roar if he's lucky. And since we're all friends here, I'll let you in on a little secret called How to Be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's easy. Step one, be super fierce. Grrr. Step two, don't be afraid of anything. Spider. Step three, do whatever you want all the time because T-Rexes don't care what anyone thinks. Shh. Roar. And surprise, you're done. That's it. You're a T-Rex. Congratulations. You are now amazing. But here's a catch. It turns out the earth is full of humans. And even T-Rexes have to hang out with them, like, all the time. And here are some draggy facts about humans. One, they think rules are so important. Ha ha. They don't like it when you eat their food. Munch, munch. Three, they get mad when you aren't nice to them. <laughs> but whoever heard of a T-Rex that cares about people's feelings? Not me. Anyway, yeah, that's how come I got sent to my room. <laughs> Turns out there are other things, other downsides to being a dinosaur too. One, it's hard to express nice feelings when all you can do is roar. Two, your dog doesn't like you as much. Three, dinosaurs don't wear shoes. Fun, some of the time, obviously, but I do have some rad sneakers I kind of miss. Who would have thought being a T-Rex would have as many downsides as being a human? That's pretty much the worst. Ugh. 
is it too much to ask to be 100% awesome 100% of the time? No, actually it's not. Being 100% awesome is an entirely reasonable thing to want. And I figured out how to do it. I became an ultimate dino-human hybrid. Sal, nice hair, fingers that can easily put, be put in nose, cool shoes, plus T-Rex, amazing roar, super strength, rad tail, equals super strength inside and out, tough and kind, tail imaginary, still just as good. Amazing roar, awesome yet approachable, gotta have the shoes. I've got a secret T-Rex inside of me. I don't let people ignore me or push me around. I'm careful not to stomp on any humans or the precious human feelings. Roar, roar, roar. I even let my friends in on how to become a dinosaur too since they forgave me for being such a Toronto jerkus before. And yeah, my brother still says he's smarter than me, and when we're alone, he still makes fun. He laughs at me with a voice that has never roared, and points at me with fingers that have never known claws, and sticks his fingers up his nose at me, which it turns out does make you look pretty silly after all. Blech. But I don't mind because he's just jealous. He has to be him all the time. Yawn. Boring. But me and my friends get to be dinosaurs whenever we want. Later. Sal. Great game, sis. Plus, whatever he, ap he apologized afterwards. Sal wanted to be a dinosaur. She realized, you know what, I probably can't be a dinosaur in real life, and there might be some downsides, but she used that dinosaur inside of her. 